We've got the Adam RC Penguin out here today. Um, put some new motors on here from an old quadcopter. Uh, these are some, some old Emax uh, quad motors. I think they are like 2204, uh, 23 kV motors. And we're going to do some prop testing today. I've got a handful of different ones out here that I wanted to try out. Uh, these are both um, left-handed, right-handed props. So we've got uh, counter rotation on them. Um, and we're going to start with the highest pitch ones and we're going to work back down basically to the uh, stock props. So the first one I'm going to go with are these. That's what's, what's mounted on there right now. Um, these are 5.1 by 5.1 pitch uh, tri-blades. And so we're going to see what they do. All right, so I really liked those uh, 5.1 pitched uh, props. You certainly saw some higher amp draw. Um, we're going to swap over now to a larger disc but lower prop uh, pitch. So it'd be a 5.4 uh, diameter disc and then a 4.2 inch uh, prop pitch. I really liked those. Um, they just felt like a really good all-rounder. They felt really quiet too. Um, now we're going to swap over to something with a very similar blade pitch, uh, 4.3. This time it's a 6-inch blade diameter, um, also by HQ Prop. Well, unfortunately, that's all the testing for today. At least we got three props in, but uh, I guess these ailerons aren't held on by much. The uh, hinge looks like sheared on the landing, um, which I don't really know why it did that, but um, it wasn't that hard of a landing. Uh, all right, new day, more prop testing. We've got a Strix 5-inch uh, prop, 4-inch uh, pitch uh, by four blades. Uh, you see that on the machine here. Um, I'm not sure what these are going to do. I think I tried these out last time and I was not particularly uh, impressed by them, but you know, we're going to run them and see what they do.
Well, at least they handled the poor landing pretty well. You see a couple little gouges out of them, but didn't break. So they're in good shape still. We've got some uh, Dalprop 5045s. These are a five inch diameter, 4.5 inch pitch, tri-blade. Um, these are kind of old. I had these on my quad. They never break, so that's why I have a ton of them laying around. So we'll see how these do. Right, we're going to put the stock props back on here. These are the 6026 uh, made by Gemfan. And uh, you know, we're going to see what those end up doing comparatively. I have some numbers from that from some other flights, but uh, I realized to be fair, I need to probably put them on the same battery instead of the uh, lithium ion. <laughs> Well, that's the end of it. See what the numbers have to say about uh, efficiency. We're gonna take a look at not only um, takeoff efficiency, um, amount of speed you get out of takeoff. Since that sequence is pretty similar, um, ground velocity on takeoff, and then standardize on the uh, loiter that it does after takeoff that I've got programmed in. And you know, we'll take a look at how much the uh, how much battery power the different props take during that loiter period. So uh, we'll take a look at those results and make some conclusions. Okay, here's the tabulated results. I also added in the, the calculated max watts column, uh, which was calculated by the max amperage draw during the launch sequence. Uh, so a couple of things jump out here. First, the 5.1 inch pitch HQ prop was just screaming. Uh, it delivered 63 mile per hour launch speed, um, but at the cost of some pretty insane amperage draw. If I were to continue flying these props, uh, I'd probably want to go with a bigger motor, but they are fun. Um, so I'm going to put these down as uh, speed over everything props. The next thing to look at is the last column here, which is created from the amperage used during a single 360. Um, I was kind of hoping that the averages of this would kind of average out the effects of any windage that was going on. Uh, there's a couple of green boxes here, but surprisingly the four blade Strix prop won out. I can't really explain it, but the loiter numbers agree with the launch consumption numbers also. Uh, I really expected a two blade prop to shine here, but I was wrong, at least for the throttle settings uh, that I currently have programmed in, um, this is the case. It may be different if we were trying to target a particular airspeed. Um, so I've got this down as the lowest energy usage prop. Um, this is also generally one of the slower props, um, but it did feel like it had a solid grip on the air 
and it allowed for some pretty easy uh, loops and climbs while I was flying it. The final thing I did was divide the launch speed by the power consumed to get a speed to energy ratio, roughly how many miles per hour per milliamp hours consumed. It's kind of confusing units, but it ultimately makes sense. A higher number here is better, and that's how I have the table sorted. And the large 5.4 inch diameter HQ prop was basically in a league of its own here. I'm going to put that down as the best all arounder. And this seems to agree with my impressions flying it. It felt sure footed fast, but also extremely quiet compared to all the others. Um, and you've got to assume that the noise that some of those were producing is just a lot of wasted energy. So personally, I'll be flying the HQ prop R42s. Uh, that'll be my go to prop for the penguin. Um, that is, unless I'm looking for max efficiency and maybe flying a lithium ion battery where I'm really trying to keep the amps low, uh, that's where I'll swap in the Strix Talon four blade props. And ultimately, if I'm just going for super high speed and don't care about blowing out my motors, uh, I'll go for the uh, 5.1 pitch.